We are back spearfishing for Wahoo. Last trip, I managed to land my first ever Texas Wahoo here in my own backyard from my own boat. <laughs> first Texas Wahoo ever. This time, we're headed out with my now good dive buddy, Adrian, on his Ponga, a 25 footer, very similar to mine, and we're going far offshore to spearfish for Wahoo. That blue water's moved in, the seas are flat calm, and really this time of year, it's very rare to have everything line up this perfectly conditions wise when it's the peak of Wahoo season. So this is a day I could not pass up. I planned on going in my boat, but I couldn't get any of my dive buddies or fishing buddies to tag with. So thankfully, Adrian invited me out in his boat and here we are, about to have one of the best days of spear fishing I have ever had. Just like that, ready to rock and roll. There's Wahoo everywhere. Yep. So once I'm geared up, I'm in the water, loading up, and there are Wahoo just everywhere. There's like 10 of them when I jumped in. Talk about a way to start the day right after hopping in. Stuck that Wahoo with one band. The school had actually started to make its way off, so I didn't want to take too long to get loaded. everywhere. I decided to take the closer shot with one band than having to take a farther shot with both. My GoPro is spazzing, but I'm getting towed right now. I'm getting towed. Oh my goodness. Adrian just got in. There's two big ones over there. Look at this. I'm getting huge tow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start working my way up. Shot with one band. So once the fish starts to slow down, I begin to work my way up the float line. Realistically, these fights are a lot longer than what you're gonna see. This one mainly because the camera kept shutting off, but also there's not really a whole lot to see with the head cam when I'm fighting the fish, unless that buoy's just throttling up and down below the surface. Mm -mm. Here I spot some sharks down deep, kind of swarming my fish, and I think I'm going to pull up a mutilated wahoo, but thankfully the sharks were really small. I just couldn't tell because they were so far down, but I was able to get my fish up fully intact. Watch 
stretch that shaft it's sticking out all right gracias Woo! that one's got a cookie cutter shark mark on him these were very curious wahoos adrian just shot one he's got it on Coming to the boat. Good wahoo. Is he on there? Yeah. Heck yeah. I got one. Big one? Um, it's, a, it's the one you saw. Yeah. I don't know if you, maybe somebody needs to get in. Put a, put a I can hop in and you want me to shoot him again. Take the little gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as we hop in, I probably saw 12 and three or four just stuck right next to me. And this one right here with that cookie cutter bite or whatever at him, hung close and lined up on him. Stuck him with one band on the roller. Yeah. Unreal. We just doubled up. Look at that. Let me turn him sideways. All right, baby, let's put him in the bag. First let's drift. Get some more. First drift out here, doubled up on the hoose. Awesome. Unreal. Here are some logs in the box. She. Woo! Thank you. Long run out, but paid off in about 30 seconds when we jumped in the water. So the pressure's off. We got two fish in the boat and that first school of fish kind of made their way out. So I finally have a minute here in the water to get properly set up. I load both bands on my gun and drop the flasher down. Once I'm set, I start kicking back towards the zone and it is not long before I spot another wahoo. This fish is swimming away showing no interest in me but I pull out my throw flasher and as soon as this thing lands the fish makes a complete 180 on it. I make my dive and I make the mistake of going too much at the fish and it starts to veer away and it just stays out of range. Even if I did take that shot and hit the fish I don't think that spear would have penetrated all the way through. I know better than to make that shot and I've learned is that patience prevails with Wahoo. If you don't spook the school, make a bad shot or whatever, more often than not, especially if you're seeing a bunch of fish, a better shot is going to present itself. Drop that spear right into the spine, completely demobilizing this fish, making it guaranteed to go in the boat. Wahoo everywhere! So I spined the Wahoo, but it still had a little bit of kick in it, a little bit of fight, so I just let it wear itself out. It was fluttering down below me. I wasn't trying to horse it in and have it just rip out from being careless. While it was down there, I actually had a lot more Wahoo come in and check it out. And I'm sitting up here just soaking it all in, enjoying the show. Seeing all these Wahoo, I imagine is never gonna get old. And as I've said before, I've wanted to spear Wahoo in my own backyard for so long. And to finally successfully do it, and to see this many fish was really exciting to see. And here's my second Wahoo of the trip. Oh my God. I'm spending so much time looking at these fish, I probably could have got this thing in the boat and out and speared one of these Wahoo. Oh, 
After putting the fish in the boat, I got right back in and here I'm swimming back towards the zone. Carlos got a fish, I know they're up here, and I actually spot a huge wahoo. Here I put my throw flasher out there, I'm trying to catch this fish's attention. It's quartering hard away from me, swimming away. But it's just so far I can't get the flasher in front of the fish and have it turn. And there's no way I'm going to catch up to this wahoo, so I know to be slow. I'm not swimming aggressively at the fish. I'm going very slowly towards it just enough so I could hopefully get in range to get that throw flasher in front of it. All right, we're going to try to lure this wahoo in through this flasher. I just need to throw it in front of him so he sees it. I'm trying to close the gap here, but not by barreling through the water and catching up to the fish. I'm, I'm slowly swimming towards it, like I said, but I'm really trying to get this fish to turn and come to me with that throw flasher. I'm trying to attract it to me into range. But as you can see, it's up in the top right corner of the screen there. It's continuing to swim away. Either it doesn't see it or it just doesn't fall for it. So I can't keep up with that big one, but I'm intercepted by several more Wahoo. Some giants are in the back, but I decide I'm not gonna be greedy. I take the shot on the closest one. Turns out this shot was actually really far away, pretty much max range for my gun, but the fish was so big I didn't realize it was that far. But we're still able to connect, fish takes off, and the fight is on. There we go. I'm not trying to be greedy, there was two studs right there, but I took the one that gave me the shot. Woo. Don't think it was an amazing hit, but hopefully it holds. Let's go. He's digging down. Look at that tombstone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. He's getting stronger and stronger by the minute. Hmm.
After a little while of fighting this fish, I start to make some headway. We start getting it up close to the surface. And as it gets closer, I notice mm -hmm. I can't see any of the spear on the other side. There's a whole lot of spear on this side of me. So I start to think that it did punch all the way through, which would make sense because the shot was so far away and this fish was quartering so hard. That spear didn't have a direct broadside hit. It had to go in at an angle and punch through more meat. So I'm gently pulling this fish in, going real nice and easy, just so I can get a better look at this thing. I don't want to pull it too hard and have it tear out right at my fingertips. Hey, I need another gun. He's on one flopper. Oh, no. Be real easy. Right. He's barely on. Okay. There goes the freaking shaft. Damn. This was the little one. There was two big ones that wouldn't get close. Yeah, I Letting them bleed out. Is a log. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I saw some giants. They would not come close though. I threw this at that PVC deal. The, the second walk I shot it worked with those big ones. They just kept going. And then I just took that shot on the one I had. I'm not trying to be greedy. Yeah, just shoot a wahoo. I don't care what. I'm gonna shoot the wahoo. I don't care how big it is, as long as it's in range. Biggest wahoo ever. And that was the little one in the school. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. There's a wahoo under the boat. He just shot it. Adrian just shot a wahoo. Really? Yeah. Get this way so I can get the sun on it. Cool. Look at that. Okay. It's all tangled up with the backup shot, but that is a stud. Wahoo. Biggest one ever. Couldn't be happier. I got it. I got it. Wait a minute. I got it. Oh my gosh, this is a giant log. See the hand? We got wahoo slime all over yeah, the Yeah, I can't even clean myself. <laughs> Hold on, I, oh, you I got, got it. Got it, you got it. Got it. Got the float. Got the float, there's a fish on it. Hey! We can't even get reset. <laughs> there's too many Oahu. We are tight once again.
There he is. Find them. Oh yeah, that's why he came in so easy. Don't let him cut your float there. Five, that's actually six Wahoo. Number three, number six in the boat. The Wahoo are going off. I got no words. Right in. Yep. Any idea of how I could fix this right now, brother? What you got? Actually, we're going to have to make more space in here. Here Adrian was hollering at me telling me about a school of fish up ahead. He shoots one, unfortunately it rips out. And as I'm swimming up, I spot the school. The GoPro doesn't pick it up. That wide angle has a hard time seeing these fish and it really doesn't do any of this justice, if I'm being honest. But I make a dive. I'm looking out there. And I could tell these fish are still swimming to me. So I'm like, okay, I have time to go back up and just wait on them. Lots of them. So here you can see them coming. They're coming right at me. Make my dive. I'm going after this one up high, but I spot some down beneath me and... Check this out. Line that spear right over the top of that wahoo's back and let it rip. Woo! This gun is a laser beam. So fish takes off, starts pulling those floats. My one of my buoys actually gets tangled in Adrian's, which I'm sure didn't help him. He was trying to reload his gun at this point. But now we just gotta let this fish wear out and put him in the boat. To keep things realistic, I just wanted to note that I am shortening up these fights, fighting the Wahoo and pulling them in, mainly due to time. So many Wahoo. Oh my gosh. But I wanted to leave enough of it in here to give you guys a realistic idea of the experience. Watching that buoy take off, get pulled underwater is a big part of the excitement and the rush of Wahoo spearfishing. So I wanted to leave enough the highlights, if you will, so you guys can see it. And if anything, you can always skip through it if I add too much of the fight, but this is really one of my favorite parts about spearing Wahoo is the fight. Mm. There's just not much like the rush and excitement of a wahoo taking off, towing the floats behind it, and even underwater. <laughs> but yeah, that was the highlight reel of the fight. Once the fish wears itself out, I'm able to slowly work it up and secure it. Oh. 
Wahoo, baby. Don't have my knife on me. It's in the boat. I'm gonna get over there quick. shafter just so it doesn't mess up the boat just pull it all the way through okay. yeah I don't want to scratch the boat there you go that's perfect now you can get it that is a huda I think that's number seven in the boat. Yeah. <sighs> 80. Heck yeah. What are you doing, man, with all this meat? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing with all this meat? <laughs> this is the best meat in the ocean right there. Just gonna pull that line through. Once I get re-rigged, I get loaded back up and it is not long at all before back on the fish. And I'm not going to voice over till after on this next one. I'm going to let it run raw so you guys can watch it in the moment as it's happening. You'll see why later on. So I shoot the fish, it takes off, but my line's pretty slack. That fish kind of made a loop, so it didn't really take off with the float line. So right away, I pretty much start working my way up the float line, starting to pull this fish in. I'm gonna leave that flash in there for you. This isn't unusual if you do a lot of damage on the Wahoo, especially if it's not a huge one. You can see here, I'm starting to pull this thing. I'm crawling up that line, letting it feed back behind me so it doesn't cause a tangle. Pull. As I'm pulling this fish in, it wakes up. It dives straight down, got my red float tombstoned here. And this fish is really deep. Let's just put it that way. I've got bungees stretched out 20 plus feet, 100 feet of float line, plus my shooting line going straight down into the depth. Steady pulling down deep. I'm just riding this float line. And all I'm doing is staying close, guiding that buoy, making sure it doesn't get away from me, letting that fish wear out, 
and just being patient, enjoying the ride. This fight goes on for quite a while. Mm -hmm. We get big, big pulls. That red buoy gets pulled down there and sits underwater for a good portion of this fight. I need to put more air in this float. Oh no. I think it's leaking. This thing is fighting so hard. He won't stop diving. Maybe he's bigger than I think. He was next to a bunch of what looked like weehoos. Maybe those are normal size wahoo. And that was just a stud. Finally, this fish slows down enough to where I can start pulling it up. And as you guys heard, I'm starting to realize that this fish is bigger than I think. It had fought way longer than any other fish I had shot all day. And for it to hold the buoys down that long under that much tension, I began to realize that this thing was way bigger than I thought. I need uh, that carbon, that black gun. Black gun? Yeah, it should be right under you, right there. It's real thin, two vans. I'm gonna hand you this float line and then I'm gonna go down and shoot him. This one might be actually bigger than the other ones. This one's pretty good. I got a good one. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna hand the float line. Just nice and easy on her. Pull it real slowly and softly. Oh my gosh! <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Mira, se toma video acá también de donde estamos. ¿Le pasaron un arpón? Sí. Ya lo voy a reventar ahí. Toma, lo reventó ya. Ah, está pelotón también. ¿Sí? Hey. ¡Uh! ¡Pelotón! Uh! Oh. ¡Oh! ¡Oh, my gosh! ¡Yeah! ¡Cool! <laughs> ¡Oh, my God! ¡Congratulations! ¡Es un pretty nice one! That's a stud. Come peek, come peek in the boat. You got another one in there? <laughs> Here, I got this. You think you can? You can no? let I got stop? it, I got it. I'm going to hold him up. Okay, let me get out of the stuff. I'm going to get you to slide and stop. Hold on a second. There you go. I want to get a GoPro video if that GoPro is up there. Hold on, hold on. Let me get Let there. me, uh, let me jump in with that. Me están chichando para tomarles una foto. All right. Hold on, what do you need? You want me to take it out? Yeah, we're gonna get all the lines out, then we're gonna get back okay. in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you get out, and we take a picture with you taking it out. Ah, such a cool animal. Let me grab the big Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. <laughs> Vamos uno justo de este lado. Espérame, es que estoy con el pinche bicho. Ya me voy a llevar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is way bigger than I thought it was. <sighs> oh my gosh. We got chefs. Oh my gosh! Let me get this out. There you go. This yeah. out. Oh my gosh. Huge. Can't even hold this thing up. <laughs> I had no idea he was that big. And look at the one you got. This is, they're brothers. Yeah, boys. Oh my gosh. That's the fifth wall who I shot today. Nice video, dude. <laughs> yeah. Boy, tuyo pelotón. We just got it awesome. done. ¿Cómo? Sí, ya vi. Ya me dijo que ya no cabe. Fuck. I had no idea that was that big. No, bols bolsas. Biggest wahoo of my life. Congratulations. Read it. That biggest one for you too? I guess so. <laughs> I, I got a pretty good one. A good one too. Wow. What is that? We have a really good problem to have. Too many fish, not enough ice box, huh? Yeah.
giant. Get him up sideways. Golly. <laughs> Ceviche. Me quedé esperando, dije ya maté uno, voy a disfrutar el lugar y voy a intentar ganar, matar uno más grande. Me pasaron uno cerquita, les di chance, quise esperarme a este, se me vio, lo quebré, bien quebrado. ¡Y! I'm speechless. Wait, hey, hey. Cesar? They're saying 90 pounds. 90 pound Hooters. I think you got me. I think you got another 10 pounds on yours. Both are Maybe nice. bigger. We'll see in the, in the, in the scale, but they're oh both, my both beautiful. Like, look at that. Look at the bilge water. It's a little bit bloody. Well, usually I show y'all the wahoo right after we spear it or whatever fish we shoot but the action was just too hot to stop and try to film as soon as i would shoot one i'd throw it in the boat get back in reload and by the time i'm pretty much set again another school would come in and, and we'd shoot another one so yeah this was number five for me i think we're close to like eight or nine maybe ten i don't even know honestly but these are the biggest of the day by far they're saying 90 plus pounds, so we'll see when we get back to the dock. Nevertheless, best day of Wahoo dive I've ever had. Couldn't have asked for a better trip. Conditions are amazing. Slicking out, got crystal clear water, and a ton of fish. We're just getting reset, and I just saw a giant Wahoo cruise right by. Oh, post-mortem twitch there. It's just so glassy and clear that you can literally see him from the boat. This is why I'm obsessed with coming out here in the winter time when it's cold to get these things. So I didn't have my GoPro on for this next one, but I ended up shooting another Wahoo and I hit it far back in the tail. So it took off really fast. And because of that, my line just snapped. Can you hand me another shaft? I just shot another one and the line broke. Thank you. Dang. I guess it was a bit worn out from all the other fish. So when that fish took off, that line just completely cut and I lost it all. So this go around, I'm using pretty much a slip tip setup. It's a slightly variated version. It's actually Rob Allen's drop barb. And I know that these things work, but having never used one before, I didn't take the time to really pay attention and rig it right. So when I get up close to this Wahoo, you'll see here that it doesn't go right and this is a prime example of why you need to get familiar with your gear test your gear and shoot your gun before you go out spearing for these fish because usually you have very limited opportunities this day we had a bunch i wasn't too butthurt about this but ideally you don't want this to happen <sighs> So I shoot, hit the fish, but after slowing it down and looking back, the line of the slip tip actually gets caught in my roller muzzle right there. And it pulled my shaft way left. That's why I hit that fish so far back in the tail. Long story short, the slip tip piece of the spear falls out. There's no line connecting everything. And I basically just poke this fish with a barbless spear. So I get re-rigged, got a double flopper back on there again. Can't go wrong with that. And I get up close to the school, line up on a shot. And this time, I just flat out miss. I go right over the top of that fish. I almost grazed it. And I guess after losing the first fish, I got in a weird funk. And as soon as you start getting in your head, that's when you start making either bad shots or you completely miss in general. At this point in the day, it's later in the afternoon and we're actually seeing more fish, more wahoo than we had seen all day. It was quite the sight to see. You guys can see a bunch here, but there was just so many the camera doesn't pick up. 
It was almost overwhelming. I couldn't decide which Wahoo to go after. And we were at the point in the day that we were nearing the time that we had to leave. The cooler was getting stuffed up to the brim and we had to get back. So with that, I kind of rush myself here. I'm trying to get one more fish and I forget that I only have one wrap on the spear I'm shooting. So I go down, probably shouldn't have taken the shot. That fish was far and at an awkward angle. I hit it, but as you can see, it was at the very end of that first trap line, and I think I hit it high as well. So, fish takes off, but... Wahoo's everywhere! There's a bunch! Shortly thereafter, it tears out. And of course, right after, I'm seeing Wahoo much closer, presenting easier shots. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Just be patient, you'll get a better, closer shot where you can secure the fish opposed to losing it and spending more time to your right. trying to get them in the to your boat. Right. But that was just the effects of bad aim and rushing it. And having that one wrap also limits your penetration. If you're shooting at a fish way out there, it could actually stop your spear from fully penetrating. So like I was saying, we were seeing more fish in the afternoon later in the day than we had seen all day. And we actually left when we were seeing this many. It was rather ridiculous how many Wahoo were around. But I get reloaded as fast as I can. And at this point I realize, all right, make sure the shot is there. Don't rush it. Let that fish get close. Wait for the right opportunity. So this was probably one of my best approaches of the day. I went down at an angle away from the fish to kind of intercept them, and I slowly turned myself towards the fish as they were coming into range. And this time, executed, made the best shot of the day. First truly stoned Wahoo of my life. Absolutely epic way to finish off the day. Talk about an epic day of wahoo diving here in my own backyard. This right here is the dream for spearfishing here in Texas. And the fact that we seldom ever get days like this just makes it so much more special. This time of year it's typically just howling. It's very rough offshore for a ponga and for everything to come together, the stars to align this perfectly and have this many fish truly made for an incredible, incredible day. All right, we gotta go. And we're gonna be leaving Wahoo. They are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. I just, I'm, I'm good. Have one more look and then that's it. All right. There's two. Oh. 
There's so many. Well, we got one true stone shot today. Rolled that puppy. And there is likely the last Wahoo of the trip. Number six for me. Pretty much filled the coolers, can't fit anymore. And we're gonna be eating good for a long time, let me tell you. Not the biggest one, but the first Wahoo I've ever truly stoned. So much fun. This is a blast. Cool. And there's so many <laughs> more out there. Absolutely incredible day. Big thank you to Adrian for inviting me down on this trip. And thanks to Javier for being such a huge help in the boat. I cannot stress it enough how much it will make a difference throughout the day. Having someone help you get fish in, sorted, and he was taking pictures and video. So big thank you. Also, big congrats to Carlos. He shot the biggest fish of the day going 90 pounds on the scale. And my biggest went 80. So biggest fish I've ever even speared in my life. And we are back. Long trip yesterday. Got back super late. Got all the fish on ice. And right now we are cleaning everything up. All the gear was completely covered in Wahoo slime. All sorts of delicious stuff. But yeah, check it out. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is howling out today. Yesterday we had just the perfect window. Middle of March. You don't get windows like that very often, so we were able to take advantage of it. Thankfully, because we had an amazing day. You guys saw it. Best day of Wahoo spearfishing I've ever had I've ever had in my life. And um Honestly, I don't know if we're going to have another window like that this month. That might be the last time we get to go out for Wahoo this spring or this winter time. So, um, can't complain though. We had an awesome time. We hit it just right. Everything was perfect. Conditions were there. Water was there. Wind was low. Seas were low. Water was clear. And we found the Wahoo. So, awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 